We live in the age of steel. It is steel that has enabled the conquering of the skies and the sea. The stars and the land consistently driving our world into a dazzling and robust future. Modern civilization has advanced the steel revolution, building the backbone of almost all achievements skyscrapers to giant stadiums, from deep diving submarines to planes propelling through the air. Mesco Steel is proud to partner the progress of a new India. My vision has been always to create wealth to enrich people's life and that's why we chose uh, that feel of steel because it has uh, if you have one rupee to invest it will give you 80 rupees at the end of the day to society so that is uh, uh, the guiding principle strategically located the steel plant is just 120 kilometers from the Paradis port and 190 kilometers from the iron ore mines in Barbil. Vesco Steel also has limestone and dolomite mines in Madhya Pradesh. Its strategic location and the enterprising extraction of iron ore allow the company self-reliance combined with low finance costs due to zero debt making Vesco Steel among the lowest cost primary steel producers. The Roida Iron Ore Mine produces high-grade calibrated lump ore, blue dust and fines. With large reserves of high-grade iron ore, it is operating at an annual capacity of 3 million tons. Not content with this, Mesco Steel is now raising the capacity to 6 million tons per annum. Mesco Steel Plant is equipped with state-of-the-art steel manufacturing infrastructure that assures not just the highest quality of production but also achieves lowest manufacturing cost and energy efficient production with zero discharge. With fully mechanized raw material handling system, water treatment plant, high capacity railway sidings, Blast furnaces, demineralization and power plants. Mesco steel plant at Jajpur is one of the finest facilities in the industry. The railway sidings inside the plant were commissioned with an initial capacity of 6 million tons, which is now being expanded to 9.2 million tons. Mesco is a ISO 9001-2008 certified company. We believe in growth and we are growing continuously since last few years. Our production has gone up, profitability has gone up, productivity has gone up twofold since 12, 2011 and 12. We believe in innovations and research oriented activities. In its ceaseless drive to improve company facilities, Mesco Steel is also establishing a wagon tippler for automatic material handling. Not resting on its laurels, Mesco Steel is in the middle of a major expansion, both organically and inorganically. Mesco Steel is on the verge of becoming a major integrated steel player with a capacity of 4.5 million tons per annum by 2020. 
through brownfield expansion of the existing 1.2 million ton plant at Kalinganagar. The finished steel capacity will be raised to 3.5 million tons in two phases and an annual capacity of 1 million tons will be added with the acquisition of an existing steel plant. A cement plant of 2.3 million tons per annum capacity is being set up at Riva in Madhya Pradesh with an estimated cost of 1200 crore rupees. Mesco Steel also boasts of a limestone mine nearby in Riva. The growth of that what we have envisaged is about 3.5 million tons and I am very happy to say that recently we have acquired another plant which is called Maithan Spark Limited. This plant has been taken which will be making billets and high beams and our pig iron also which is being produced in our plant will be used partially in this place to produce billets. So the synergy is very good where we will reach to 2.2 million tons of production. Vision of the company has been that that we should not just be the largest steel producer but a producer which is very competitive and very good quality products. In its endeavor to stay ahead of the curve, Mesco Steel has prioritized ownership of strategic raw materials like iron ore, limestone, dolomite and coking coal. To this end, the development of the Malang Toli iron ore mine in Odisha has been fast-tracked. This mine would be the main source of raw material for the expansion of the company's steel production capacity. A large dolomite mine in Kutni and a limestone mine in Riva have also added to Mesco Steel's strategic vision of self-sufficiency in the possession of raw materials. Mesco Steel is set to emerge as a globally diversified mining group. It is developing a gold mining project in Southeast Asia, acquiring a coking coal mine in Australia and shopping for new opportunities in Mongolia, Cambodia, Laos, Mexico, Canada and the United States of America. As an important member of the steel industry in India and fueled by the strong desire to serve its nation, Mesco Aerospace, with a track record of over 20 years in the aviation business, is now venturing into the aerospace and defense projects. As part of its efforts to boost the rural economy and create jobs for the youth in non-urban areas. Mesco Steel is diversifying into the dairy and food industry. Projects on potato flakes, frozen french fry and dairy products are being implemented in areas rich in milk and potato production. Success, much like progress, is meant for sharing. Mesco Steel lives this belief. Starting at the grassroots level, it has changed lives by generously sponsoring promising students from the neighboring villages. A certain CSR activity that we are carrying out is fairly standard, like providing uh, health care and education at the remote areas of Odessa. Now we have identified two very new, um, unique areas of CSR. One in India, currently we find two problem areas. One is a mental health problem, which is pervading society, such as anxiety, disorders, depressions. So we are opening up first a mental healing home for children. Connected to that, we are going ahead with comprehensive sexuality education program and comprehensive uh, what's called Mandarpan, like a program where we are um, educating people of mental health. Mesco Steel has taken initiatives to provide care for mentally disabled people in Mumbai, has also improved the quality of education by providing qualified and capable teachers. Mesco Steel has worked continuously to improve the infrastructure of the schools of the surrounding villages with construction of toilets, water tanks and tube wells, building concrete roads to improve connectivity, providing drinking water as well as building a boundary wall, 
Health camps held at regular intervals enable access to medical care to people. Promoting awareness on hygiene and practices for the prevention of diseases is also an important part of the camps. Mrs. Rita Singh runs an animal welfare organization, Krishna Ashram, providing shelter and care for about 1,000 stray dogs and other animals. In the continuing effort to promote the ecology of their area, Mesco Steel has introduced a plantation drive to make the surrounding region greener. At Mesco Steel, we give utmost importance for compliance of the law of the land, that is, compliance to the statutory requirements prescribed by the Factories Act 1948. Mesco Steel continues to strive to better their community in all ways possible. At Mesco Steel, leadership is combined with a strong professional approach. The vision is shared across the company by employees and management alike, creating an empowering environment for the growth of the company. In this company, every employee has full accessibility and what is distinguished about uh, Mesco Steel is the openness culture that prevails. Anybody can give new ideas and they'll have full backing if those ideas have any merit. And this, and further, the next unique point about this is the company gives freedom to make decisions. So looking at a uh, uh, huge potential in India's infrastructure and steel market, where customers are demanding Competition is getting stronger and stronger. We in Mesco Steel will be agile and will execute our strategy with more perfection. Ever since I joined this company, I have seen this company has grown from strength to strength. The road to a better future is paved with the intentions of steel. And Mesco Steel is a partner in the endeavor. Mesco Steel, partnering progress.